Officer James Lockhart, Confidential Interview. The moment we heard the name, we knew they were more than just a local cult. This group has been involved in various unspeakable criminal activities such as kidnapping and murder. It wasn't a surprise when we were informed that FBI was signed on this task. However, having FBI agents on our side wasn't really helping. It seemed impossible to track those bastards down. Last week, we had reports of a group of middle-aged men and women attempting to hijack a ship. It was included in the reports that they were carrying big bags with them into the ship. Fortunately, and thanks to the FBI, we were fast enough to track their path without alerting them. Halfway through, two things were confirmed. One being that they were mostly armed with warm weapons, and that they were heading to North Twin Island. We were ready for any upcoming unexpected event, but what we saw there when we arrived was beyond understanding. All of us had difficulty digesting what was going on. A giant creature that looked almost identical to the devil himself was cut open, and a red tree was growing out of its heart. Bags they were carrying were full of body parts, ranging from adults to children. If it wasn't bad enough already, body parts were being poured on top of the creature's heart. It was like they were fertilizing the red tree. We received direct order to open fire on the cult. I don't want to go into the details of what happened next, but it wasn't pretty. We managed to execute most of them and capture a few for interrogation, but had to leave immediately before that demon could pull any tricks on us. Although I wasn't 100% sure that it was alive, but I was not going to find out. Last Friday, in the interrogation room, we discovered the woman behind all of this, Helen McCurry. They referred to her as Mother Curry. Yesterday, we were dismissed from the task, but I can't shake the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. 